What's up again? It's Jennifer again, and so Jennifer Watson. So we are here talking about my super negativity remover bath. Now this bath has probably about, mm, I think I've got like eight or nine different ingredients in it, um, maybe a little bit more, but each of my baths contain holy water um, and a blessing, and so that is also in this bath. But what, some of the key ingredients in this bath would include like laundry bluing, fennel, dill, a lot of the herbs that work with removing negative energy. And it's not like the best smelling bath, but it is highly effective. <laughs> and if and if you're looking for a frou-frou, you know, negativity remover bath, then this is, that's not what you're going to get here. You're going to get effect, effectiveness over smelling pretty. Um, now, with this particular bath, this is something that you may want to take when you are feeling like complete crap. Um, especially empaths, because empaths, if you're not sure how to shield yourself from the outside of an, in outside world and picking up other people's energy, then this is a bath that you definitely want to take, especially if you're not taking any or using any kind of any other kind of methods from for removing that energy. OK, <laughs> excuse me. And so this is a bath that you can take this bath any kind of any day, really. Um, but if you're going to go according to which day is best to practice magic, then Saturday would be the bath that you would want to um, do this one. And according to time, you're going to want to take this bath when the clock is on the downswing. OK, so that's anywhere from 12 to um six all right because that part of the clock is going down anytime the clock is going down that is when you're removing things and since this is a removing bath that's when you want to take it um now you can also take this bath actually when you are um, when it's a waxing moon okay so you may have to download an app on your phone to see what moon is when and where or you can look up in the sky um, but the waxing moon is when the moon is going from full to new. So it's, again, removing, removing, removing. Um, that is very, 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 very key. Uh, one thing I would suggest is that you actually boil this bath um, in a pot for nine minutes. No more than nine minutes, okay? You want to boil that in a pot. And so it's going to turn blue. The bath will turn blue. OK, well, let me just tell you, it will be blue. <laughs> and depending on how much energy you have to remove, the water may even turn black, as I have heard from a couple of my clients. Um, and that's OK. Don't be alarmed if it does. That just means it's working. It's doing its job. OK, um, when you're in the bath for this one, you're going to want to move the water um, Actually, you're going to want to move the water away from your body. So if you're laying in the tub, you know how sometimes the water moves, you're going to want to push the water away, cleansing yourself, okay? Cleansing yourself, removing all of that. Everything that you do is all about collective energy and removing things from your body. Things that no longer serve you, emotions that are no longer yours or not, not yours, um, and if you have a particular, um, a very um, strong case of some things that you need to remove, I would strongly suggest that you first, when you first get into the tub, um, stand in the water and pour the water over your head nine times and let the water run down. You're definitely going to want to get your hair wet in this because hair does tend to pick up on um, energy as well. So you're going to want to remove that from your hair as well. Um, this is something that you're going to, if your case is, if your case, <laughs> if your situation is very unique and it's, again, it's one of the stronger cases, then stay in the water for 30 minutes. Um, most times I don't, um, I don't recommend going any more than 21 minutes with this super negativity remover one. 21 minutes is usually highly effective. 30 minutes is just going overboard. Do not stay in there any more than 30 minutes. I cannot reiterate that because you do not want to start pulling from your own life sources within this bath, okay? So please remember that. Um, 
another thing too, uh, you can do some visualiz- visualizing while you're in the bath. You can visualize as you're pushing the water away from you, you can visualize everything being removed that's not yours. So if you know of a particular person that might have put some things you know, on you, or if it's just in general, visualize it going away. You can also, um, you can chant during the bath. Um, you can come up with something that is very personal for you, but you can just say something to the sorts of, you know, as I push the water away, so is all of the negative energy. Something very simple, something that means something to you, um, and it will work accordingly. With this bath, um, you can also um, you can also uh, take a cup of the water after you're done. Okay, you can take a cup of the water. Um, and then go and put it on a railroad track. Okay, you can pour it out. You can put the container there, whichever. Um, I am not advocating literally littering, but <laughs> if you don't have a choice, leave it there. So, and what this what this does is that as that an active train track really. Um, what this does is that the train helps to push that energy away from you. Again, pushing that energy away. Everything is a building block. Everything is building upon itself. Your actions are very deliberate when you're taking one of these baths. Um, some other things to, again, remember, 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 highly super important, especially with this bath, is to wash your tub out with sea salt. So, that pretty much kind of sums up the instructions for this particular bath. If you have not watched the video where I give a general overview of baths that give you some very important instructions on how to do these baths, make sure you go watch that. It says start here first. Watch that one because that's going to give you some very general instructions that you need to use with all of the baths while each of these smaller videos are for more specific instructions depending on which bath you purchase. So make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.